In this video, I'll be setting up Synology's Secure Sign-In, which is a new feature available in DSM-7 to help secure your DSM account. I'll start with an overview of what Secure Sign-In provides, then go over setting up DSM-7 so we can implement Secure Sign-In. Next, I'll go over setting up passwordless sign-in and two-factor authentication using the Synology Secure Sign-In mobile app. And finally, I'll set up a hardware security key sign-in to allow logging in to DSM using macOS Touch ID. For a bit of background, Secure Sign-In is a new security enhancement offered in DSM-7 that provides a secure passwordless login method when linked with Synology's Secure Sign-In mobile app. Secure Sign-In can also be linked with an approved hardware security key, including built-in biometric devices like macOS Touch ID and Windows Hello. Secure Sign-In can also be paired with a password for additional login security with two-factor authentication. When all is set up, you'll just need to enter in your username at the Synology DSM login page, a password if you enable two-factor authentication, and one of the secure sign-in options mentioned earlier to securely log into your Synology NAS. I'll leave a few links in the description below if you'd like to learn more about secure sign-in. Before being able to take advantage of secure sign-in, we'll need to fulfill a few requirements. The first is making sure the secure sign-in service is enabled within DSM. We can check on this by going to Control Panel, Security, and Account. Here, we see a service status of connection failed, and I'm asked to sign into my Synology account. I'll do that, and now when I go back to check on the secure sign-in service, I see a status of enabled. The second requirement is external access to DSM, which could be by using Quick Connect, DDNS, and port forwarding, or entering in a publicly accessible hostname or static IP address under Advanced from the external access control panel. I've covered Quick Connect as well as DDNS and port forwarding in previous videos, and you'll see two cards showing up in succession above, linking directly to those videos, which I'll include in the description below as well. For the purpose of this video, I'll use DDNS and port forwarding to enable external access to my Synology NAS. I'll quickly run through the DDNS setup here in DSM and note that I manually enabled port forwarding on my router pointing ports 5000 and 5001 to my Synology's internal IP address. Again, watch my DDNS and port forwarding video if you need further details on this portion of the setup. With the prerequisites out of the way, we can now start setting up secure sign-in. First, we'll need to log in with an account that we'd like to set up with Secure Sign-In, then click on the User Options icon in the upper right-hand corner of the DSM window and select Personal. Under the Account tab, you'll see the Sign-In Method section where you can select either Passwordless Sign-In or Two-Factor Authentication. I'll first select Passwordless Sign-In, which starts the Setup Wizard. Here, I'll select Approve Sign-In and verify my identity by entering in my password. Next, we'll get a summary of what we are setting up, which is passwordless entry into DSM using the Synology Secure Sign-In mobile app for approval. I'll click Next to continue. This screen allows us to install the Secure Sign-In mobile app by scanning the QR code on either an iOS or Android device. Scan the appropriate QR code for your device or install the Secure Sign-In mobile app before proceeding on. Next, using the Secure Sign-In app, we'll need to scan the QR code to allow the app to receive sign-in requests for this specific account. Once done, we'll get confirmation the device is set up and that we can use it to sign into our DSM account directly. I'll click Finish and now we see that passwordless sign-in is set up with the approved sign-in method using the Secure Sign-In mobile app. I'll sign out then sign back in again, and now the Approve Sign-In window appears. On my iPhone, I get a notification to approve the sign-in request, and I'll click Approve to proceed. Now, my login is approved, and I'm automatically logged into DSM. To set up two-factor authentication, we'll need to head back into the Personal section of the account we'd like to set up, 
and click on the two-factor authentication sign-in method. We're prompted that passwordless sign-in is currently set up and turning on two-factor authentication will disable passwordless sign-in. That's what I'd like to do, so I'll enter in my password and click OK to continue. My iPhone is already set up as the device I'd like to use for two-factor authentication, so I'll click OK. Next, we'll be at this Add an Alternative Sign-in Method screen, letting us know that we can use a verification code or one-time password as a backup to signing in if either our phone is offline or the sign-in method for our second step is unavailable. I'll click Start to continue. Here, we can install the Synology Secure Sign-in Mobile app if we haven't done so already. On this screen, we'll need to scan in the QR code using the camera on our mobile device to receive the verification code or one-time password to proceed. I'll type mine in so I can continue. Next, I'll need to enter in a backup email as an emergency verification option if I lose my mobile device. I'll set up an email that I'd like to use, then proceed on. At this point, two-factor authentication is enabled and we get a summary of the current setup. I'll click Done to complete the process. Now I can sign out and then test the two-factor authentication login process where I need to enter in both my username and password as well as approve the sign-in or enter in a one-time password from the secure sign-in app to successfully log into DSM. The last secure sign-in setup I'd like to cover is using passwordless secure sign-in using a hardware security key, specifically macOS Touch ID. One of the requirements for hardware security key setup is that DSM have a valid domain name which is accessible over HTTPS. You can't use an IP address only or a quick connect address, but the DDNS and port forwarding method that we are currently using should be just fine, so I'll continue with the setup that we are currently working with. I'll again bring up the personal section of the account I'd like to configure and select the passwordless sign-in method. I'll enter in my password to disable the current authentication method, which is two-factor authentication, and click OK. I'd like to keep my iPhone for passwordless sign-in as well, so I'll click OK to continue, and then click on passwordless sign-in again, Verify my identity by entering in my password and click OK. Now I'll select Hardware Security Key, click Add, select Touch ID slash Face ID, and click Next. On this window, I'll click OK to allow the Synology NAS at the specific domain listed to use Touch ID. Then on my Mac, I need to allow this setup by activating Touch ID, and now Hardware Security using Touch ID is all set. I'll click Done, then sign out of my account. Now, when I log back in, I can use the Security Hardware Key option and Touch ID to log on to DSM. Secure Sign-In is a great addition to DSM 7, providing several ways to securely access your Synology NAS. Hopefully this video helps you in your setup, and if it does, let me know by leaving a comment down below. Also, if you like the content provided from this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel as well. Thanks so much for watching.